Bose S1 Pro and Electro Voice Everse 8. I think we have a real competitor this time, not because there weren't other speakers that in some way were usable in a way that can be like, like the Bose, so maybe other different speakers that maybe they were not battery powered, but for the idea of the dimension, the cost, the general like sound, or maybe uh, they were louder. So in some way it could have been uh, a kind of replacement of the speaker, or maybe someone could prefer that solution. But in this case, I said a real competitor because Electro Voice did something that is is really on paper uh, and probably also in, in reality is is made to be the Bose S1 number two. So <laughs> that's the idea. But we need to check and uh, and listen with our ears because that could be too nice to be true. But could be. <laughs> um, what you say is that. Uh, we have the same pretty much dimension as you can see they are pretty much the same and the weight is pretty much the same just uh, half kilos more the evers we have two channel input plus uh, another that is bluetooth or also the input with a cable for backing tracks or wherever you want but we have to say that these evers start in uh, in a good way uh, if we compare with the Bose because many times Bose owners said ah that would be a dream if a future like a second edition of this Bose I would have this or that and many of these uh, dreams uh, are true <laughs> with this electro voice because you have a beautiful app uh, that is very well done and gives you the the complete control of the speaker so is uh, it's not like the Bose where you have only the high low frequencies control apart from um, the reverb and the general uh, volume uh, in this case you have a three band EQ for each channel plus an EQ for uh, the main, like uh, uh, for the speaker generally, and also you have a parametric or like very detailed EQ. You can change and make the this speaker sounds really uh, differently for what is your needs, uh, and that's a lot. Also, little nice feature is that you have an USB port for kind of charging your phone or wherever and also you have a 12 volt port where you can plug for example all that device like a wireless microphone that needs the 12 volt power you already have in there so many little things but they are not so little at the end they can change the experience of the user you know uh, but most of all what we need to know now is if this one in terms of sound is really comparable with the Bose. Um, the first thing that we know and that I can tell you is that this one is more powerful. And that is another kind of dream of Bose owners because many times they said, oh, if only uh, the Bose was a little bit more powerful, especially the preamp for the vocals that was like the probably one of the main issues in some way of this speaker uh, because actually you could um, you can have more volume from your vocals it's not like the speaker that is right like I, I can do this and I can't do more in terms of vocals especially is also is a, is a matter of preamp so if with a standard mixer or a preamp you can push a bit your mic signal and have more volume from the balls from the microphone plugged into the balls but yes you can have a little bit more but 
a little bit actually is not uh, it's not a lot it's don't change your life and say suddenly you have i don't know a 2000 watt speaker <laughs> you know it's not like that so yes the first thing that i can confirm uh i started using this speaker and testing it is that it is more powerful definitely is more powerful and generally it sounds like a, a bigger speaker than the balls but yes what is interesting in this video is that we are gonna now compare the sound of guitar with piezo and with um, pickups magnetic pickups and also the mic signal in both same story for vocals i gonna use a beta 58 very standard microphone for the guitar i'm gonna use this steinberger um, with piezo and after switch with uh, with the pickups um okay i'm very curious let's go let's start with the microphone i'm using a beta 58 um we start with the ev is everything flat so let's just plug the microphone and see how it sounds one two one two one two do 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 this is Evie. Let's try now with a bit of EQ um in the general mix of the of the speaker. Still same microphone, vocals, let's see. One, two. Alright. One, two. One two 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 yeah do 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 yeah do 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 so in some way I need Q that should go more towards the Bose idea. So we have uh, more pushed the low and high frequencies and more pushed down the middle um, middle frequencies. Let's see how it sound. One, two, 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 one, two. One, two, one, two, yes, this is what it did, 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 it Okay, in this case, um, the only thing that I will do with the bowls is um, to to EQ a bit the the vocals is going down with the uh, with the low frequencies. Uh, you all, all you only have low and high frequencies control on the balls. Um, I could do a bit of taking up the high frequencies, uh, but with this microphone with the balls, there is I don't know there is already a lot of s this kind of frequencies. So probably I let's try just to put down a bit the low see how it sound this is this is how it sound um, yes you can see that s s this kind of frequency is already pretty much there uh, so yes I would probably just go a bit down with the low frequencies especially in terms of uh, kind of stand make the voice standing um, uh, up front the other instruments and yes, this is the Bose. Bose, this is the Bose. Here with the EV and vocals. Um, this is pretty interesting because 
Um, I now EQ'd a bit the vocals, um, so not only just generally the speaker, but the vocal channel um, yeah, specifically. And I, yes, I added some high frequencies and mm, I put down uh, some low frequencies. Um, and this is how it sounds now. So yes, we have uh, cleaned a bit of muddy stuff in the low part and opened it a bit the sound. Yes, yeah, da, 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 da. but what is interesting that I would like to, to record is to um, let, let's see these mid frequencies, medium frequencies. Um, I'm gonna now they are flat, the medium frequencies. Um, I'm gonna put slowly all the way down and after all the way up see how the sounds changing and see if there is something that become more close to the bow's idea of the sound da, 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 da. this is flat medium flat and now i'm going down 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 this is all the way down this is all the way down all the way down and let's go up and let's go up and this is all the way up, all the way up. Okay, a bit more, a bit less extreme. Let's see something like this. Okay, you have a bit more of cutting frequencies in your vocals in this way. But at the same time, if I do something like this, that would probably sound a bit more bozy. <laughs> uh, yes, it, it sounds a bit more. And this is like minus five, something like that in the medium frequencies. And let's try now a bit of compressor because in the in the channels in this case vocal i have the mic um you can also have some compressor some compression so let's see how it sounds let's go up slowly with the compressor let's go let's go let's go and let's go and yes okay i think this is a bit too much you can see that it's very <laughs> on the glass like the 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 vocals is like you're really kind of smashed on, on a glass in front of you um that kind of feeling but at the same time if i go a bit down you can see that it's definitely more up front the vocals is more kind of out there <laughs> try now a bit of EQ so is everything um, flat on the um, on the channel but the general EQ of the um, the main EQ of the mic of the speaker is now slightly changed we have uh, a bit less of mid frequencies and a slightly bit of high and low frequencies let's see how is the difference <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
bit more heavy with the uh, with the EQ. So this is something that should go um, a little bit more towards the Bose idea of sound. So we basically uh, did more uh, of um, high and low frequencies of before and uh, more going down with the um, with the medium frequencies. Let's see how it sounds. Okay, let's see how the balls sound. This is the flat sound, so no EQ, no reverb, just plug into the balls and see uh, how it sounds. This is the Bose, um, there is not a lot to do uh, with the EQ of the Bose because we have only a selector that um, engage a preset EQ and in that case it's like I don't really like that kind of EQ, the Bose ma them don't match and manually we can control medium, uh, sorry, high and low frequencies only so I try now to take off a little bit of low frequencies just to try to have a um, little bit less exaggerate low response uh, because you know the boss generally is famous for this kind of very boomy bass. Uh, so let's see in this way taking off a bit of bass how it sounds. <laughs> The first thing I can hear from the guitar is that it sounds generally bigger, it's like, yes, kind of bigger speaker. And also the same way uh, that, especially when you start with the flat, like both speaker in flat way, you can really hear how the bass is not flat. 
and probably was something already known but uh, in this way you can really face how the boss is sounding like all but flat another thing that i notice is that generally the sound of the ev with the same levels like same db volume um is more pushy is more probably more similar to what it usually is a um a speaker for live music because the boss is like good and not good at the same time it depends from the point of view but the sound of bows is more kind of hi-fi listening idea that from some aspect is kind of nice pleasant but from other like especially in some situation you you would like to have a bit more of pushing sound to you know so this is absolutely a difference that i can hear from this starting point same story for vocals, I would say same kind of impression generally, the sound of both, probably, yes, probably I can, I hear from the both, uh, like with this face to face, is really like that kind of missing frequencies in the kind of medium uh, range, the kind of very, kind of exaggerate EQ, that is not really an EQ because I tried sometimes also with an external mixer to do some kind of okay let's even the stuff let's see if i can have a kind of balanced sound uh and this kind of really difficult to 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 go for to obtain that sound you it's, it looks like it's like really like the speaker that in that frequencies there is something going down like missing that overall yes makes the bow sound but maybe sometimes it's, it's too much, I don't know. And you can hear this kind of difference here quite clear. Uh, at the same time, I would say that there is kind of crystal sa clean sound in the bows. That is the bow sound in some way. Uh, that with this one, you need to work a bit to, to obtain. And, and I'm sure that I can do more, I can do better because I just started to do a few general uh, EQ uh, but there is a lot that you can do that so absolutely uh, you, you can expect a future video when I go when I go deeper in this aspect and maybe we can reach a more kind of both sound if you like that kind of the other sound but still with this more punchy and more volume that, that with this speaker you can have um, Another thing that I notice, um, a bit also with the guitar, but probably with the with the vocals even more, is that kind of very high frequencies, this kind of frequencies, that uh, are slightly harsh with the bows. So yes, kind of clear, but um, a bit too much in that kind of stuff, or maybe the general feel sometimes can be harsh. This is a speaker that can be a new standard in, uh, in portable speakers because actually since the Bose came out, it slowly became the standard, you know. When you need this kind of speaker with battery and, you know, that kind of use, the Bose in some way was the speaker in the last years. Um, I think for the first time we have some products that that can be in the next future the new standard um absolutely i would like as i said to dial more with uh, what you can do in uh, the queue and everything because i think you can even like reach better results and but yes let me know what you think about if you what you listen what you heard from from this uh sound comparing uh, write a comment, like a video if you like that it was useful for you and subscribe if you didn't already and see you in the next video.